I'm Don Spettler from Advanced Test Equipment, and this is a TESEC NSG 5500 automotive test system. This one's configured with three modules installed. The first module is the MT5511. The second one is the FT5530. And the third module is the LD5550. Okay, the first thing you do is you hook up the supplied laptop which has AutoStar installed in it to the unit. So you hook up the USB to the USB on the unit. Okay, the next step you want to turn on the unit and check for the green address lights on each one of the modules. Once those lights are on you know that the unit is functioning and ready to be run. First thing you do is power up the laptop. Once you power it up Go to Computer, Properties, then you go to Device Manager. This error will show because you're not running it as an administrator. So you go OK. Go to Ports, and you'll see that the NSG5500 was COM port 4. Write that down for future reference because you may need it if you disconnect the computer and rehook it up and have any problems communicating at a later time. Once you've selected the port, open the auto start program. Once the program opens up, Go to the upper section and select configurations, then go to settings and go to the NSG 5000, NSG 5500. Select the plus and you'll see the communications. Select communications, you will see that you're set up for RS232 COM4 which is the way that it's set up with the USB cable. So you do a communications check, all communications passed, the program's ready to run. You want to make sure you're actually connected, you can go down here and look, and you'll see the NSG5500 has a green bar between the units showing that you do have communications. So the next thing you can do Go to this drop down, it'll show you the main pulses that are available with the modules that are installed. So, for instance, you can go into the pulse, it will show you the default settings for that pulse. This one is one microsecond, the pulse width is two milliseconds. The output is taken from the FT5530 with the supplied adapters. I'm using a differential probe to do my measurements to show on my scope. So the first thing you want to do is get your scope set up for that waveform. For this instance, we're showing the pulse that's going to be coming out of the FT530. And the pulse will be measured with a differential probe going to the O scope. The uh, parameters of the pulse are shown on the diagram on the AutoStart program. You'll set up your scope according to that diagram. Once you select the pulse on the drop-down, it'll show representation of that pulse and the parameters of that pulse on the AutoStart program. I'm measuring it using a differential probe going through the supplied adapters to the 5530. On your pulse, you can select by the drop-down whatever count you want, for instance 10, or if you want it to run continuous. In this case, I'm going to run it continuous. It will run until I stop it. I'm going to now run a continuous pulse. It's going to be monitored through my differential probe to the O-scope. The scope now shows a representation of the waveform being produced. The measurements of the waveform can be shown on the diagram of the pulse. It also shows you where they are to be measured. 